In this particular session, we are going to cover one numerical problem on disk scheduling using SSTF algorithm. Shortest seek time first. So, shortest seek SWK that means you are searching. So, shorted seek time first. So, in this case, we are going for this problem, the same problem on which we had our FCFS algorithm. So, now suppose a disk is having 200 cylinders. So, 0 to 199 will be the values. The disk is currently servicing at cylinder number 53. So, here the cylinder uh, read read head will be at this particular cylinder and previous request was at cylinder 60. Prior to that, it was serving cylinder number 60. The queue of pending request in the FIFO order is this. Calculate the total distance the read read head will traverse. Okay. So, same type of problem, but here uh, we are having SSTF. Okay. Now, see, I have written all these cylinder numbers in the ascending order, whatever they were here or this one and 0 to 199 obviously. So, now I will be starting from 53. From 53, what is the logic of this SSTF? From 53, I shall go to that particular cylinder whose distance will be minimum. So, from 53 to I should, I should go to 65. From 65 to 67. From 53, if I want to go to 37, that will be a long distance. So, I should be going for 65 and that is 67. From 67, I can go to 98. From 67, I can go to 37. So, 98 minus 67, it will be 31 and 37 when it is getting subtracted from 67 it is 30. So, I will be coming to 37, 14 on the return journey I shall come to 98, 122, 124 and 183. So, in this way the read write head will move and serve these cylinders. So, to calculate the total or net uh, movement of the read write head it is quite obvious that I shall be going for 65 minus 53 first term, 67 minus 65, second term, 67 minus 37, then 37 minus 14, fourth term, that is the last one in the first row, and then 98 minus 14, 122 minus 98, 124 minus 122, and 183 minus 124. So, let me go for the calculations, it is quite obvious, it is 12, and it will be 2 obviously, I shall come back with 30. 37 minus 14 it will be 23. So, 98 minus 14 it will be 84. Then this one will be 24. Then obviously this 2 and the last one will be 59. If you go on doing this calculation you shall get the result as 236. The total read read head movement. So, that will be 236. So, let me check once. So, 12, 2, okay, then 30, okay, and then 23 will be this one, then 84, okay. So, now let me write this one here, that will be better. So, I will be going for 2 and then 59. So, if you go, go for this, uh, you can get this particular sum as 236, okay. So, let me check the options 236 is in the A. So, in this way, you can easily answer this sort of numerical problems. I shall uh, apply other algorithms on the same problem in the next videos. Please watch them. Thanks for watching this one.